but dans le ici on va pas dire we hope that using that it will work we work on certain issues but certain issues like her relationship with her husband or with maybe a stepfather we might work on her belief so they on using cbt les techniques pour l'aider mais certaines choses peut-être on va recommander maybe some kind of family therapy in just one sentence or two sentences we will say other modalities also might help in, in regards to her relationship issues with her stepfather and or her, her husband a couple therapy or family therapy might be helpful uh, in in that regard or you might refer her to a family therapist to work on her issues with her husband Quand on travaille une thérapie avec un client, there should be hope, but we don't say it like in the essay, we hope that it works, ou after the session, ça va marcher. Parce que là, là c'est comme si la réalité, and we just, we do it, we define it, and we, it's like, it's really professional. C'est pas juste un ici. C'est-à-dire, à la fin, on va dire, pour certaines autres choses, peut-être on va référer à, ou on va référer à d'autres spécialistes. And we will collaborate with other specialists to find, to give a comprehensive treatment. Là, c'est complet. I hope I answered your question. Oui, madame, merci. Donc, il est quelle heure? Onze heures dix-huit. We will start with unit five and six. Clinical practice with individuals and groups. Donc, both units integrate content on social work practice, diversity, and social justice issues in relation to individual clients, families, and in groups. There's a difference between working with an individual client, so c'est le client, c'est la personne qui est votre client, like Janice is one person, she is your client. If you were to do a family therapy, it involves maybe Janice and Jack or Janice and Sheldon, or Jack and Sheldon, or the three members. This is family therapy. Family therapy doesn't mean that every time I have to meet the three members of a family. Sometimes I can meet only Janice. At times I meet Janice and Jack, or Janice and Sheldon, or only Sheldon, only Jack. It depends on what I need, what objective I have for the session. So family therapy, ça c'est autre chose, c'est une autre approche. Group therapy is different. Group therapy involves different people which may not be related, which are not related. Fait group therapy, qu'est-ce qu qui les connecte? C'est peut-être un problème similaire. Par exemple, we can go, do group therapy for people who are grieving, who have lost someone. Group therapy for someone who has addiction issues that's group therapy that it involves people who are not related c'est ça la différence on group therapy and family therapy it's not the same thing by the end of the two units you will learn social work practice approaches to restore maintain promote social functioning as it relates to individuals to families and to groups et là, nous, ce qu'on va faire, c'est dans votre manuel, il y a l'approche avec un individu, c'est-à-dire individual, individual session, individual therapy, et puis il y a aussi group therapy. Là, on ne fait pas de family therapy pour cette, euh, dans ce, dans ce chapitre-là, il n'y a pas family therapy. Et puis moi aussi, je n'ai pas... Euh, this time, I did not do family therapy. I chose 
cognitive behavior therapy. So you, you won't be doing family therapy. Donc, this, c'est un peu un résumé in your manual de quand, quand, quand on commence une thérapie, quels sont les états. C'est pas, it's not like you have to follow it every time. C'est juste indicatif quels sont les aspects dans une thérapie. Comme je dis, la première chose, c'est l'alliance thérapeutique. Building the rapport with your client, which starts from day one, or from the phone call, first time you might have uh, a first contact with a client through a phone call, the way you talk, vous êtes bienveillant, vous êtes accueillant, vous êtes très... Uh, you listen, etc. Ça peut être ça, your first approach, your first contact, or it could be in face-to-face, -face, direct face-to-face. -face. Sometimes you are the one who will take the information to write down the name, the problem, etc. Ou des fois, c'est des personnes comme des, euh, des réceptionnistes qui prennent ces informations-là. Ou des fois, c'est vous-même. Mais l'approche la, thérapeutique, l'alliance thérapeutique, c'est la première chose et c'est la chose qui va continuer durant toutes les sessions. First thing. Second thing, the social assessment. Again, social assessment, it will it might start from the phone call. First session, second session, it continues. Because you are getting information, la personne peut ne pas vous dire qu'elle est suicidée la première session, mais après deuxième, troisième session, peut vous indiquer, peut vous dire certaines choses. Donc, le social assessment, you might make a, a general social assessment the first session, but it can continue throughout. Donc, approche thérapeutique, social assessment, puis troisièmement, on parle de using a knowledge-based or evidence-based practice. Ça veut dire que vous avez vu, les techniques qu'on a utilisées, c'est des techniques qui ont fait preuve. Ça veut dire qu'ils ont Uh, they have proven to work with clients. It's not just, je me suis dit, allons utiliser cette technique. It's, it's techniques that have proven to work. They are uh, articles, they are journals, they are research on their efficacy. Donc, we use evidence-based practice, on appelle ça. C'est-à-dire des, des techniques qui ont fait leur preuve, qui, ont, qui sont scientifiques. Quatrièmement, type de thérapie. This is in your manual again. They talk about motivational interviewing. On n'a pas fait motivational interviewing, just a few sentences, what it is. Parce que là, ça c'est une présentation en elle-même. Il y a motivational interviewing, play therapy, supportive therapy, etc. Donc, motivational interviewing, c'est client-centered. C'est directive. It is used with clients who have addiction issues. C'est utilisé dans les rehab centers pour ceux qui veulent, par exemple, arrêter de fumer ou arrêter de la drogue. We use motivational interviewing. The questions are... The questions are... Uh, C'est fait... Par, dépendant de la technique, les questions aussi vont être euh, comment dire les questions sont différentes la façon, la façon on pose des questions c'est différent dépendant de la technique qu'on utilise et puis il y a supportive therapy which is mostly used for grief therapy for bereavement il y a play therapy play therapy mostly for children c'est non-directive et puis, on parle de problem solving therapy, used with clients suffering from depression and suicidal ideation. Donc, premièrement, approche thérapeutique, make an assessment, you choose your modality, ça veut dire quelle approche, you can use cognitive behavior therapy, CBT, you can use narrative therapy, you can use Carl Rogers therapy, you can use whatever therapy you are at ease, and which might work best with the client. Et puis, il y a le case management services. How do you manage a case? How do you work with the case? And then you liaise with other stakeholders. You liaise with 
maybe the school you liaise with a psychologist, the psychiatrist, the medical practitioner. You do your follow up. Uh, là, on parle de case management services et puis de interdisciplinary collaboration. How you collaborate with, par exemple, doctors to, par exemple, si vous êtes medical social work and you collaborate with doctors or psychiatrists to, for example, you have a social worker, you conduct your home visits and with your information, you inform, for example, le docteur, le psychiatre, les informations que vous avez relevées. Ça peut, it will inform his uh, practice, comment, comment il, il va s'adapter à ce client-là. Par exemple, si c'est un client qui a tel, tel problème, tel, tel souci. Donc, you will enlarge his perspective through your input. Et puis, là, practice self-care as social workers, you give much of yourself in terms of listening, being attentive, empathetic, caring, tout ça, ça demande beaucoup d'énergie. C'est pas qu'un travail devant un PC, c'est un travail qui demande de soi-même. Donc, you need to practice self-care by doing things that you like, Certain times you need time for yourself. You need to do things that just take care of yourself, going to cinema, going out, going to the beach. Uh, ça, c'est important parce que if you don't practice self-care, you won't be at your optimum level and it will impact your work. For instance, if you have lost someone, if you are in the process of separation or divorce, you yourself are going through some issues, it will impact your work. You need, that's why we say therapists need some kind of therapy also to work on their own issues so that it does not reflect in your session. C'est pour ça c'est important aussi d'avoir de, des liens avec d'autres personnes, euh, des bons collègues, un bon entourage, et une famille ou des amis to be able to process certain things. Or, à l'extérieur, même à Maurice aussi, des, des thérapeutes, ils ont leur propre thérapie. C'est-à-dire qu'ils suivent aussi des thérapies, des sessions. Comme je dis, c'est pour ne pas... Parce que, when you're working with people, for instance, you have certain issues, you have certain trauma, or you have relationship issues with your partner, and you have a session with a client who who's who has issues, you may not be impartial, you may not be objective, you might impact. For instance, um, par exemple, nous, quand on a fait, on a suivi nos uh, cours de thérapie, we had to work on ourselves first. Uh, J'avais des collègues qui ont perdu un enfant and they were saying uh, initially they could not work with clients who are grieving because they had an enfant, ils ont pas encore process, they had, but now, after like 20 years, they, are, they, can, they can do the job because they have process, they have been through counseling, through sessions, they know that they won't uh, reflect their own worldview on the client. C'est pour ça, il faut, faut savoir, c'est-à-dire, il faut être conscient de ce c'est-à-dire, on passe pas des moments et de savoir, OK, OK, je, il faut savoir mettre des limites, de savoir que, voilà, je ne pourrais pas faire ça là, ce cas, euh, où je dois prendre soin de moi-même pour ne pas, que, pour que ça n'impacte pas sur mon travail. Intersectionality.
intersectionality it's um kimberly crenshaw term you can read up, read on it c'est très intéressant uh, comment comment est venu avec intersectionality came up with ça veut dire on disait uh, women discrimination contre, contre les femmes mais mais il y avait une différence how discrimination impacted white women and black women parce que there, it was not discrimination against gender only but there was also color donc il y a pas on peut pas voir que un aspect c'est ça intersectionality means that you there are different problems that might intersect we cannot look at a problem at one uh, aspect only ça veut dire par exemple un client when you look at uh, the race the, you have to also to look at whether there is something at the level of race color ethnicity gender sexuality intersectionality is about understanding it's about understanding and addressing all potential roadblocks to an individual well-being or to a group's well-being. So, dear, when you have a client or you have a case, And you see, for instance, that that client is homosexual. You know, there is, there might, you might infer some kind of discrimination they might experience, not just for their sexual orientation, but then you might look at the race, the culture, their immigration status, if they are local or they have migrated, their ethnicity. de voir est-ce que tout ça peut impacter, for instance, uh, pour un client qui parle de suicide, dépression, tout ça, il parle de sa sexualité, but then you can probe to look at whether race, whether color, ethnicity, how it might influence their belief, their thoughts, how experiencing racism Race, racial trauma, comme on parle. Racial trauma might have impacted their thoughts, their behaviors. Now we will get practical. We'll work on case examples. Please let's uh, lisez et puis dites-moi comment vous allez procéder. Mila, 18 years old, a non-binary black young person is referred to a medical social worker by their primary care physician for grief support. Client appears tired and sad. They reveal to the social worker that they recently lost their twin sister in a car accident. How will you, as a clinical social worker, proceed in the above case?
you know when when you work with uh, like we have different case examples like when we work with clients if you had si similar issues like people who have lost someone or maybe in an accident or they have lost their sibling or their twin sibling it might evoke certain emotion ça peut évoquer certaines émotions donc when you have to you know that then it's difficult for you. You have to work on yourself. Maybe you have to do some kind of therapy or uh, sessions or talk it out. Here, uh, Mila, we know non-binary. Ça veut dire qu'elle se définit pas en tant que female male. She, she, she or he. We won't say. We, I will say they. Mila they define themselves as non-binary. They are black. Donc, là, c'est race, uh, sexual orientation. If we are considering intersectionality, race, uh, sexual orientation. They are grieving. And how do we proceed in case uh, a client is grieving? Grieving, grief, someone who is grieving, they want us to listen. They want to feel connected. Uh, initially, uh, you will uh, listen. You will listen, you will be there for them. You will build your, she's 18, so, so she's an adult. You will build the therapeutic aliens, build the rapport with Mila, we know. We, you will listen to Mila's story, to her, what she has to say. And smoothly, you might make an assessment of what's going on. Was, she, was Mila close to their twin sister? Oh, you won't probe how did the accident occur? Because if Mila is not ready to talk about the accident, we don't ask here. We listen, we try to make an assessment on how Mila is feeling what's going on, uh, where she's living, who's there for her, for them, uh, who's there. Uh, so we will go in that direction. And if Mila wants to expand on the accident, then we leave that space open to for Mila to, to express. And we we will be we use our counseling skills like listening empathetically, being there, uh, paraphrasing, uh, summarizing all all the skills you will all the skills. Uh, and you firstly you will mention about the objective of a session with Mila, what's why why is she there. Why is she in session? She was referred, like she, they were, or they were referred by the doctor, by my primary care physician. But then you will ask Mila, what's, what's the objective of the session? Maybe Mila has an objective specifically. You will ask Mila. Mm. I once had a case where I work with a twin brother who lost their twin sister in an accident. In, 
it was um, nine years old boy and um, and mostly the parents it was the parents who were mostly devastated and they needed the time and space to to heal to process to talk mostly it was mostly to talk to it was a space for them to talk to express their their, their grief so as i said it's you will build the therapeutic aliens you will make your assessment your assessment depending on which model you will be using biopsychosocial person in environment but you will do it smoothly you won't just ask questions you let the client since the need for the client here is to talk to express themselves you will allow them give them that space listen to them ask them the objective what they want to work on And then you will proceed from session to sessions and reevaluate whether we are going towards that objective or the objective has been updated. Because throughout several sessions, things might come up. Maybe uh, Mila is acting up. Maybe Mila is showing some rebellious uh, behaviors or, uh, or stuff. So you will you will reevaluate your objective depending on how the session the session uh, progress. Questions? Much faster. What are you doing? Are you not listening? I will mute. Okay. Okay. So this first one was quite straightforward. Oh, Mila was uh, 18 years old. So Mila was an adult. But if Mila was in an institution, like in a school, still I will ask for a consent from their parents. Because... Uh, the institution of school, school being an institution, they inform parents whenever there is someone who will be talking to their kids. But there is no legal obligation because Mila was an adult. It's just protocol de l'école qui dit que on doit informer les parents. Mais il n'y a pas de legal obligation or it won't be a legal issue if I don't get consent. Par contre, pour les enfants, we need consent. We need a written consent from the parents or from the guardian. So this is not the parents, it's the person who is responsible for the child. We need this consent. When, we, when I say informed consent, it means the person says that voilà, there will be a social worker, there will be a therapist, a psychologist who will intervene in the child. And um, depending, informed consent is give information enough information for them to understand what's the purpose of an intervention. So if it's a child, informed consent is obligatory because they are minors and legally you have, you, it, it's required to have their consent, to have the consent of the parents or guardian. And par la suite, uh, c'est-à-dire, un, c'est consent of the parents or guardian. Et deuxièmement, uh, when we talk to the child or to the adolescent, we ask, we present ourselves, we ask whether they are agreeable to having a session with you. Because sometimes they don't want to. It's their parents who requested the meeting. So they are quite um, resistant to the session. 
So you can't do much then if you're resistant. You can explain, you can try. You still can try because there are some expectations from the parents or guardian. But certain adolescents, they don't want to be in session. Et quand je dis « consent from parents », mais quand, quand on parle, on demande uh, « if a child or adolescent want to be in session », on appelle ça « the assent ». We want the assent from the child. Ça veut dire, légalement, ça n'a pas de valeur. Mais pour nous, ça veut dire de dire à l'enfant euh, « est-ce que c'est OK ?»« Tu te sens à l'aise ?»« Tu veux être en session ?» L'enfant peut dire oui, peut dire non. Mais quand l'enfant dit non, là on va expliquer, mais on va demander pourquoi. Et puis on va se concerter avec les parents pour expliquer, mais l'enfant ne veut pas, mais qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Because it's voluntary. Counseling, uh, counseling therapy, it's not something someone should be obligated to do. Donc, quand on travaille avec un enfant, normally we do play therapy along with something else. The technique will depend upon the problem. C'est quoi le problème? Ça va dépendre. Quand on dit children, c'est anyone below 18. Donc, l'approche est différente avec un enfant de 10 ans, de 5 ans ou de 17 ans. Uh, the process of counseling is similar to any intervention with an adult, but here the words would be age appropriate and the technique might differ. Like if we are working with a child below 10 or 11, we might use paper pencil, we might use games, des jeux, uh, things that we can manipulate to, to express themselves. In, be, quand les enfants un peu plus euh, grands, c'est-à-dire les adolescents, they are more able to use words to express themselves. And still some prefer to uh, manipulate things like art therapy. Also use art therapy or music or sound. Donc, okay, c'est exemple. You will, in, you will tell me what we will do in that case.
Alors, comment vous allez procéder Oui, madame. Oui. Oui, c'est-à-dire que c'est une charge qui est bilo et d'in, ou je n'ai pas de consent pour parents. Ok, in that case, it would be the uh, OYC director. Consent from the OYC director, because she's placed in that institution. Uh, it's not her parents now who has this right, c'est l'institution. Ce sera l'institution qui va donner ce droit. Ah, you can mention it. Normally, c'est... C'est inclus que c'est l'institution qui demande vos services, mais it's good that you mention that you will seek consent for uh, intervention with Sharon from the director or from the, from the institution. Okay, you seek consent then. Okay, you make an assessment. Madame, uh, yes. Si uh, dedans, on voit que elle a été placée là-bas depuis six ans. Ce qui fait que les parents n'ont pas vraiment l'autorité chez elle. Seulement le. le oui, star. les parents l'ont abandonné. She was abandoned. Les parents l'ont abandonné. Et, she, she, et puis, elle a été admise dans l'institution parce que she was charged with child beyond control. Il y a vraiment un problème avec son comportement. Maybe here the social worker must work, uh, do counseling about the health of children, of unborn children and mother, to inform Sharon about the risk she is taking in not being receiving care, refusing care to attend her gynecological appointments. Mm -hmm. Donc, you will, you will seek consent, okay, from the OIC to meet Sharon. And if anyway, they ask for you to assist them for Sharon. But as procedure, you will say, okay, for that case, I, I will ask for, to meet her in person. Because sometimes they ask for your intervention, maybe you intervene with her parents or her aunt, 
but you want to meet Sharon, you will um, ask for a consent from the OIC to meet her. And then you will listen to Sharon, like present yourself, and maybe she won't be trustful. She won't trust you because of her early experiences. And she, she might be peut être, comment dire, résistante, pas vraiment coopérer, parler, s'exprimer, parce que she doesn't trust the people working at the shelter. Uh, so you will listen to her. I won't say you have to gain her trust because of her early experiences. She might not trust you. She might never trust you. But you might be there for her. Toujours bienveillance. L'écouter. Do your assessment, informal assessment, like listening to her. What, what, what's bothering her? What's happening? Pour comprendre comment elle pense, comment elle réfléchit. Pour elle, qu'est-ce qui se passe autour d'elle? dans sa famille, petit à petit, d'essayer de comprendre ce qui se passe. C'est-à-dire, on va dire de gagner sa confiance, même si you will never, you might never get her trust. But you start with that to, to, to get an understanding of how she views her own issues. Like to get her worldview, her perspective. You listen, you be there for her regularly, you have your session regularly, you tell her you'll be meeting her. She might resist, she might not want to meet you. But then, see what interests her. Maybe at 17 ans, peut-être il y a des choses qui l'intéressent, comme la musique, des choses comme ça. C'est... Euh, c'est d'emmener de, des trucs aussi pour qu'elle prenne peut-être peut le dessin, lui parler, lui dire, ok, on, on peut faire un dessin, tu peux t'exprimer à travers le dessin, ou bien tu peux t'exprimer, you can use art therapy, music therapy, using music for her to express herself. Parce que les, les enfants qui ont eu ces difficultés-là depuis un jeune âge, uh, you, you might not expect us a talking therapy as usual. Okay, Devika, want to share something? Oh, yes, madam, uh, uh, for the social worker, uh, uh, maybe she has to talk to the manager also, I feel so, because uh, each year the, the child has a right to, to go for a, a weekly uh, leave. She went to her... Oui auntie's place so uh, the manager mm -hmm. didn't talk to the auntie because in a one week time she 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 met someone she uh, she uh, she became pregnant mm -hmm. this means that she, there was no uh uh supervision not, yeah there was no supervision it means that uh, maybe the uh, institution manager didn't talk to that uh, person to that lady to take care of, mm -hmm. uh, of that uh, child Mm -hmm. Ok, ça veut dire que institution have to liaise with a family to get a, a more a thorough uh, understanding on what happened, why she was not supervised, and uh, yeah, more information. Now we can liaise with that person, that aunt, maternal aunt. Or as a social worker, you might seek permission to have a home visit to the maternal aunt's place to gather more information on, on Sharon and her relationship with that aunt who is willing to uh, take her every year for a week. What's, what kind of relationship is it? Is it a positive one, a good one, healthy one? Or 
or something else. Donc, si on dit uh, OIC to liaise with the family, là, on parle de... Euh, ça peut être à, à travers vous. For your case management, you ask the OIC to contact the parents and to seek um, a meeting with that aunt. You want to meet that aunt. I seeking permission to meet that aunt. Can't do it on your own. You will, you will require that information and permission to go and meet her maybe at her place or in in a room in that in that center. Ça uh, dire où on on était là, c'est on commence avec l'approche la, thérapeutique, on fait notre assessment, on listen, we might use other type of therapies, art therapy, music, just to get the attention of Charlotte. Because if she feels okay in session with you, she will open up, she will talk, she will talk about maybe her early life experiences with her mother, at school, what happened? Why was she beyond control? Why did the parents abandon her? Ça est depuis l'âge de 11 ans. Est-ce qu'il y avait un problème avec ce comportement qui a fait que les parents ont été submergés par ça et l'a quitté dans ce centre? We don't want to judge the parents here. We don't want to judge Sharon non plus. Because we don't know the circumstances. Uh, Maybe you will do your digging. You will, par exemple, savoir quelle école elle a, elle a été. Parce que as social worker, knowing that which school, peut-être il y a ça dans le registre de OYC, then you might, you might pay a visit. Je ne sais pas si on a toujours les données sur l'enfant. Pay a visit. What kind of child she was at school with her teachers? Because why did she end up in OYC? What happened there? Comprendre sur son comportement. Parce que vous avez dit aussi de, de rencontrer cette tante. Cette tante peut être une des personnes, mais c'est la personne contact, mais ça peut être une des personnes dans la famille. Vous voyez, en, en visitant la famille, savoir plus d'informations sur ce qui s'est passé, ce qui se passe sur les conditions de vie de, de la famille. So you have, you expand your assessment. Especially your social assessment. As social worker, you you have um, vous avez comme si l'opportunité de d'avoir beaucoup d'informations parce que you can intervene on various aspects. Dès là, vous pouvez aller à l'école, vous pouvez aller euh, chez la tante. Vous avez beaucoup d'informations que peut-être le psychiatre, la psychologue ne vont pas avoir. Parce qu'ils font pas ces visites là. Donc, you will have all these types of information to understand, and then you will try to talk to Sharon. Mais la, le psychoeducation in euh, pour lui dire que voilà l'enfant a besoin de telle telle affaire va pas être direct parce que il faut qu'elle qu'elle se sente à l'aise avec vous. Parce que sinon, tout, même la directrice de OIC peut lui dire ça, mais elle n'écoute pas. C'est qu'il y a un si un souci, elle se rebelle. S'il faut qu'elle qu vous écoute, qu'elle puisse se sentir à l'aise. Ça veut dire, ensuite, you can do your psychoeducation in telling her how the health, her own health, impact the baby. Her level of stress will impact her baby. And um, que représente ce bébé pour elle, pour savoir est-ce que comme, qu est quel est son ressenti par rapport à cet enfant? Le chiquer ou ou is it she's not concerned it's just to show her anger towards the institution because she knows it's one way of holding them comme si avoir son mot, c'est à travers ce, ce truc de euh, euh, se négliger, 
qui va affecter son enfant, qui va, donc ce qui fait que oh, ouais, ici il va réagir. Donc, donc c'est plus de... Donc, pour résumer, consent from OYC to meet her. Then, when you are meeting her, let her speak. You do your, you uh, apply your counseling skills. You, since she's still young, you might use art therapy, music therapy, because also of her uh, adverse childhood experiences. Uh, then give her time, you talk to her, listen to her. When she feel at ease, you might tell her about, you might do some psychoeducation on, on child development before birth. Uh, in utero and um, and her own well-being what quelle sera ça elle va se redéfinir pas en tant que Sharon la jeune fille mais aussi sera Sharon la mère euh, ça un autre aspect et puis you you will do your visit to her aunt place, you will uh, might contact her school to know type of child, what happened, c'est-à-dire rencontrer d'autres membres de la famille pour comprendre sa situation. Ensuite uh, aussi, when you have done your assessment and all, you might also refer uh, maybe for uh, more therapy or music therapy or drama or anything about that, you might refer to some specialist to do that, to conduct that. Because maybe you are not a specialist in art therapy. You might help her do some drawings, but then ça va, ça va s'arrêter là. Donc, liaise with other stakeholders, psychiatre ou thérapeute, artiste pour aider cet enfant. And you do your follow-up. And that's it. C'est assez... Euh, Là, we have explored the case, on a uh, analysé le cas, but if you have a case like this, uh, just how do you proceed? You, you might highlight who is your client. It's okay, Sharon, 17 ans. You might do a, a genogram, just ou, si c'est si, si, si possible, ou pas un genogram, un ecomap, juste pour mettre les points importants. Et puis, vous commencez à travailler. Vous dites sur quel aspect vous allez intervenir, quel aspect vous allez référer aux spécialistes. You do your follow-up, you do your case management, you collaborate with other specialists. This is how we answer questions like that. Donc, working with children population, il y a des... Euh, y a, le ministère du genre works with children who have been abused or neglected. We have a Ministry of Education who work with children in school. Ça veut dire qu'on parle de children, c'est de 3 à 20 ans ou plus à l'école. Et puis, il y a un Ministry of Social Integration. There is a um, uh, psychologist also. In the judiciary, there is uh, the OYC. There are psychologists, there are social workers who intervene. And then there are NGOs also who work with children. Il y a pas mal de NGO, mais dépendant. Like uh, Pedostop, Pedostop work with children who have been abused. Help, they, they provide the support and support to the child and the family. Mais dans tous les cas, il faut qu'il y ait le consentement si c'est avec l'enfant. Si on fait une session avec l'enfant seul, et si on fait une intervention avec un enfant, il faut qu'il qu y ait le, le consentement. C'est le parent ou le guardian qui consente à ce qu'on rencontre l'enfant. Et dans le privé, il y a à l'hôpital ou à la clinique, tout ça, il y, a, il y a des services pour les enfants, mais toujours, comme je dis, c'est avec le consentement des parents. Donc, working with children, working with elderly. Elderly, on appelle ça gerontological social work. These are included in hospitals, in, 
nursing homes, in assisted living facilities, in home care agencies. Toujours, when you start, you have to build that working alliance with your client, with your elderly client. You have to understand them, and here you have to promote their autonomy, their independence and dignity. Donc, euh, là, pour les cases exemples, on va s'arrêter là parce qu'on a group session. Group session and group therapy. Comme je dis, group session, c'est quoi group session? Group, au fait, il y a there is a literature on uh, blackboard, on group therapy. Uh, c'est un article récent, je crois l'année dernière ou cette année-ci, sur effectiveness of group therapy for American Psychological Association. In fact, group therapy is very effective, but you have to know how to conduct group therapy because it's more challenging. Because you don't have one person, you may have 10 persons in, in a room. Et comment gérer ça? C'est pas facile quand on est seul. Il faut qu'il y ait la thérapeute, la social worker et a facilitator. Why do we use the group approach? Because it's more efficient and offer more resources and more viewpoints. Donc, au lieu de faire 10 sessions, on fait une session avec 10 personnes. Donc, group approach provides a feeling of commonality. C'est-à-dire, on sent qu'on n'est pas seul dans, dans cette difficulté, qu'il y a encore des personnes qui souffrent d'alcoolisme, qui souffrent d'avoir perdu quelqu'un qui souffrent de divorce, de, de, de s'être séparés de, de leur conjoint. Donc, it's pro, it provides a feeling of commonality, experience of belongingness in a group. C'est-à-dire, on ne se sent pas seul, il y a un groupe, il y a un support. The chance to practice new behaviors. Parce que on évolue dans le groupe, là, on va évoluer avec euh, the guidance of, of a therapist. You will evolve You will practice new behaviors, new healthy behaviors. The opportunity for feedback. C'est-à-dire, quand vous parlez, vous aurez un feedback de vos pairs. C'est-à-dire, les, les personnes qui sont dans le groupe enfin, vont aussi. Tous, il y a des règles. At the start, there will be rules. That is, each one has their viewpoint. You have to respect them. You have to use words that are positive. Il ne faut pas humilier ou dénigrer personne pour, leur, pour leurs opinions. Donc, there is opportunity for feedback, for constructive feedback. Vicarious learning, ça veut dire on apprend des autres. By listening, by observing others. The approximation to real life encounters and the pressure to uphold commitment. Donc, tout ça sont des avantages qui, qui sont propres au group appro approach. Donc, group approach, it's effective, c'est, it offer more resources, and, donc, tout ça sont les avantages d'utiliser le group approach. Donc, les experts, what are the examples? Comme j'ai dit, il y a ceux qui ont perdu des personnes, We, are, we have lost someone, we are grieving. We have groups for that, groups for pregnant teachers, group for HIV AIDS patients, group for recently divorced parents, group for soldiers who have returned from war, veterans. There are groups for them too. Donc, ça, on va passer dessus. Donc, when we do group session, group therapy, la confidentialité est un peu compromise parce que on peut pas assurer la confidentialité. Ethical standard of ACA, American Counseling Association or National Association for Social Workers or APA have ethical standards regarding working with clients in groups. C'est-à-dire la confidentialité. As group leader, you will be group leader, you have a social worker, you have a therapist. You can keep records confidential, whatever you you have on the client. Par exemple, les, les données personnelles, 
du client, you will have it. Uh, Peut-être the history, the biopsychosocial assessment you've made, all these will be confidential. But you cannot guarantee how group members will treat the information. Mais les informations qui sont circulées, par exemple, pendant la session, whatever you'll be talking about, peut-être you, uh, the participant might want to use a pseudonym ou bien le prénom sans dire le nom de famille pour garder la confidentialité. Mais ce qu'on dit là, ce qu'on ne peut pas assurer, c'est que quand on va parler, on va parler de ces problèmes, on peut dire de ne pas raconter, mais il n'y a pas une garantie qu'il qu y aura une confidentialité. Because they have no eth professional ethics, parce que ce sont des, des personnes qui sont dans la souffrance aussi. Donc, il n'y a pas confidentiality cannot be guaranteed, but it can be encouraged only. Ça, c'est l'aspect ethical. Donc, If you have to do group therapy, there are three stages. Some are three stages. The beginning, the middle, or the working stage, and the ending phase. Three stages. So if you have to talk about group therapy, you have to mention why do we use group therapy. We use it because people will feel supported because of uh, feeling they belong to some group, because They, um, there's the feeling of commonality and it's effective, etc. Maintenant, quels sont les stages? Il y a le beginning, il y a le working stage et puis il y a le ending, le termin, terminating stage or closing stage. Ch chaque stage, there are specific things that will happen. In the beginning, ça, c'est les introductions. It can, be, it can take two or three sessions where you will introduce each member. Each member will talk about themselves. They might say, like, Hi, I'm Jane. I'm 31. I have this issue. So they both probably briefly on themselves and why they are here. But as, uh, as the leader, as the social worker, you will set the rules. At the beginning, you will say, whatever is, is, is talked about here, please keep it confidential. It is encouraged. You are expected to respect each other. No foul language. Uh, when we begin at tell her, te, on va terminer at tell her. So it's to make the rules at the beginning. Il faut respecter l'opinion de chacun. Il faut euh, respecter chaque personne. Euh, donc, group rules. At the beginning, you have to set the group rules. Sinon, on peut, we can expect many things to happen if we have no group rules. Parce que euh, au fil des sessions, Sometimes you will have to remind them of their group rules because ils, ils peuvent dévier. Sometimes they can use a language that's not acceptable. Then you might refer to the group rule, like issue a first warning. Donc, what to expect in the group? Expect each other to, to be on time, to express themselves at their own time. You can have a talking stick. Qu'est-ce que c'est un talking stick? C'est un totem. Vous pouvez avoir, par exemple, une règle ou un crayon ou un bibelot. Un truc qui va représenter euh, quand la personne tient, par exemple, le stylo, il a le droit à la parole. C'est-à-dire, si je n'ai pas le stylo, ce n'est pas mon tour de parler de donner la chance aussi à chacun de parler. Et maintenant, si une personne est trop timide aussi, we will, we might say, OK, you, do you, quand c'est son tour, vous pouvez lui donner l'espace aussi. Sans que, non, she cannot talk now, she is overwhelmed by things, then she might, ils peuvent avoir un signe, par exemple, comme ça, pour dire que I cannot uh, proceed. Donc, il faut qu'il y ait ces règles-là pour que les membres se sentent à l'aise, se sentent acceptés 
et sent que voilà, this, ce groupe-là est bienveillant and I have a safe space to express myself. The mid, ça c'est introduction, ça veut dire first stage, the beginning stage, c'est l'introduction, set rules and boundaries. Set, uh, tell them what to expect. Et puis là, when after two, three sessions, we start working on the issues. For instance, if we are working on alcoholic addiction or drug addiction, they will talk to talk. We will start to talk. You will see the dynamics. Certains sont un peu trop silencieux, certains sont un peu trop talkative. The talkative one, we can control them through the talking stick. But the silent one, we might encourage them. Maybe they, they need some prompt. They need some encouragement or, or maybe you have to assess whether they feel comfortable in that group. N'oubliez pas intersectionality. Ça veut dire la personne peut-être se sent pas à l'aise dans ce groupe-là. If it's mostly a white male group, supposons, a white male group, and that person is a black person, might not feel connected with the others. Or if it's a diverse group, or if it's mostly an telle tranche d'âge. La personne ne sont pas connectée avec cette tranche d'âge. là Ça peut un, être un souci. Donc, de voir est-ce que that person fit the group, if they feel connected. Or that silent member might be silent just because they're still processing certain pain. And you might ask them if they want to participate or you might ask them whether they want to have some individual sessions up or, or they are something they want to work on. Maybe you have to refer them to a psychiatrist or psychologist to work on certain issues. So you, as group leader, you need to be aware. You need to be aware that some members may be uncomfortable when watching others work on personal issues. For example, if someone travaille sur son trauma, et ça peut mettre d'autres personnes mal à l'aise parce que ça réveille quelque chose, ça éveille quelque chose en eux. So you have to be aware to look at the fa facial expression of your clients to see whether it's, it's going smoothly or they want to share something or maybe we want to take up something after the session with them. You take up something like you want to ask them if they are okay with the session, if they want to add something, if there's missing, something missing in the session. Donc, on a parlé de beginning stage, middle stage, et puis le ending stage. Le ending stage, c'est... Uh, the stage is to, devoted to terminating the group. Can take several sessions, mais il faut, ça veut dire qu'on est... Si c'est... Un, a group therapy involving 12 sessions, 9e session, on va informer que voilà, il nous reste que 3 sessions ou il nous reste que 4 sessions. Informer que on arrive vers la fin. This is important to prepare them. It's not uh, la veille de la session, comme on va dire, la, it's our last session. But to prepare them that we are arriving to our final stage. We, we are still with three sessions and prepare them and prepare them means that to reevaluate whether they have achieved their goal or they are moving towards the goal or if they need further encouragement or more uh, intervention for example ça peut être des trucs individuels des sessions individuelles and then in the final stage they might share what they have learned what they have unlearned what have changed or what have remained stagnant or whether it has worked for them uh, whether they want something to be added that, like um, you won't end it like this like at the final stage like uh, three sessions before you will talk about that prepare them towards the end and you will you might do follow up even the last session you might check on them for a phone session Well, it's going okay. Pour le EE, alcoolique anonyme, c'est il y a un parrain, ça veut dire il y a une personne qui va être là, qui va en cas où, où même après les sessions, ils ont besoin d'un soutien. 
il y aura une personne qui ils peuvent les appeler 24 sur 7 si au cas ils sentent qu'ils sont vulnérables. Mais in... ce n'est pas dans tous les groupes de thérapie. Certains groupes de thérapie, pour exemple, une groupe de thérapie, à la fin, vous pouvez créer un groupe online de support où, régulièrement, il y a des quotes d'encouragement supportif ou vous pouvez some kind of online support or you might uh, have refer them if you see that there y, y a encore pas mal de matière à travailler you might en encourage them towards an individual therapy also uh, donc ça you can read as group leader As someone who might lead a group, what's important to note, the size of a group, relevance of purpose for the members, length of each session, quelle fréquence on se rend compte, quelle, quelle heure de la journée, est-ce que c'est après travail quand ils sont fatigués ou bien c'est le week-end, is it an open group or is it a closed group, like if you start the group today, you are not taking any newcomer you will continue over 10, 12 sessions. Is it voluntary or is it, ça a été, uh, is it, uh, c'est non-voluntary, ça veut dire que c'est la cour qui a ordonné à la personne de suivre des thérapies. Là, c'est pas volontaire, c'est obligatoire. Donc, ça sont des aspects qu'on regarde quand, as group leaders, when we are, setting up a group therapy. Donc, pour résumer, this unit, it was about individual therapy. Quelles sont les étapes qu'on qu peut uh, utiliser? Et aussi, group therapy, which involve three stages. Et il y a différentes choses au niveau des trois stages. It was quite straightforward. Donc, pour clinical social work, it's written, on a la classe le 7 for revision, but this you will be informed. I will send you like I I normally do uh, send you the link and for this case I will send you the date. Mais je sais que Open University va vous informer. Mais Clinical Social Work, là j'ai vu 7 novembre à 19h. Le 7 novembre, c'est mardi à 19h. But for sexuality and health, I will have to to talk to Dr. Goman. Donc, do you have any question? Yes. Dites-moi. Uh, no. no, pas de question. Il y a... Adina Rain, Apia, qui a une question? Non? Ok. Alors, merci. Ça veut dire on se voit pour la révision. Comme un preview question, aujourd'hui on est le 4, donc vous n'avez que 3 jours pour. Oui, dites-moi. Yes, I'm, I'm waiting. For your question. No. Okay. I'll just lower your hand because you are not asking. Oui, ça veut dire vous avez que quelques jours pour voir quelles sont les questions. Eh? Mm. Now you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear yeah. you. Yeah. Concerning the assignment, I send that on the on message because on the day supposedly to send the on blackboard, I did that in the afternoon, but I was not I was prohibited to to send it on blackboard. So I send it on your mail on message. And I, I don't I was I wonder if you have got it. No, no, because uh 
normally you can send it even after after the deadline uh, because uh, uh this is, this is a red a red cross yeah yeah it will it will post it, it will have a red flag but mm. you can still send it because many of you uh have sent it after after je crois c'était le c'était 19 heures mais c'était après vous avez envoyé après it will flag uh because, like uh, and the automatically message, and the message you haven't got it I didn't get, yes, or I will have told you to yes. send it to me through. Parce que pourquoi je peux pas prendre les assignments par email ou par message? Parce que là, euh, ils doivent avoir accès. Open University doit avoir accès à vos assignments, euh, au marking, au grading, and for quality assurance. They, they might check anytime. Yeah. That's why I cannot do otherwise. But do send me. I send it. There's I, another I send student it yeah you want yeah to even if it's flag as red please yeah. send it to me uh, cross, you will get an automatic zero but this is not me it's it's blackboard's automatic system if i send it okay please send it yeah okay, okay thanks for i i just wanted to talk about it but i did have your number your phone number so Take this opportunity to do it. Okay, okay. You you can send me a message on Blackboard. Some of you have email, uh, sent a message on Blackboard and I've answered you, so it's okay. No, because when I have put that assignment on Blackboard on message, I just couldn't re reuse it. So it was like that. Okay, okay, never mind. Mm. I tried. Yeah, thanks. Okay, okay. Donc je vous dis uh, amadi. Pour, pour la session de révision. Ok. okay. Merci. Donc, euh... Merci, madame. Au revoir. Merci, au revoir. Merci,